Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. October 7th, 2018. Today, I'm making barbecue chicken sandwiches, uh, some sloppy joes, which I've already shown you how to do that in previous videos, as well as some oven fries. But I'm going to twist things up on the oven fries. So I want you to uh, come along and I'll show you what I'm doing. You can leave the skins on uh, the potatoes. Uh, if you desire to do so, uh, but I peeled mine and then I divide them in these pans. Now you want to have a thin layer, a single layer, I should say, of uh, potatoes uh, so they'll cook. And you don't want to overcrowd the pan with uh, your potatoes or uh, they won't turn out right. Now I drizzle just a little bit of vegetable oil and, over them and put some salt uh, on both. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a 450 degree oven, back them for about maybe 30 to 45 minutes or so uh, until you want until they're crispy and go to brown. That's what you want. And at the end of cooking time, uh, I'm going to season them up with a few spices. So I want you to stay tuned. I'm going to be making sloppy joes, which I've already shown you how to do that as well as some barbecue chicken sandwiches and how I uh, make them. So I want you to stay tuned for more. Welcome back everybody. Uh, 15 minutes had passed and I took the potatoes out of the oven, my homemade fries that I'm making, and I stirred them around. Now these I think are going to take about 30 minutes total to uh, cook. And what I'm going to do at the end of cooking time, I'm going to show you what I'm uh, going to do a twist on. I'm going to season them up after I, after they come out of the oven. Now, in here, I, I made the sloppy joes, as I said. Browned the hamburger meat, and I'm just doing a little bit of review. I browned the hamburger meat, one about a pound of hamburger meat, drained the grease off of it, and back in the pan, uh, it went. And I added one can of tomato sauce, along with a little bit of allspice, a little bit of brown sugar, some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. And uh, this is already uh, ready to eat. Now, I sauteed some boneless, skinless chicken breast tenderloins. And uh, you just want to cook them probably about one to, one to two minutes per side. Just make sure that uh, they're well cooked. And you don't want to overdo it, though, because they're going to finish cooking in the sauce. And if you want to use your brand of sauce, that's totally up to you. But I love making homemade barbecue sauce. So in the pan. It's it. Now, usually fix this in a bowl and then put it on the stove. A little bit of mustard. You don't want to overdo it with the mustard. Some brown sugar. A couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder to this, but they're over there on the other side of the kitchen, so I want you to stay tuned. I'm going to get my spices. Sorry about that. Uh, I put, I just then put some onion powder and some garlic powder in here. What I'm doing is I'm stirring this around a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chicken tenderloins back in here you can put as much sauce or as little sauce as you want I'm gonna get these tongs and I'm going to stir them around and I'm going I'm going to let them cook for a little bit I say probably about maybe 
about five more minutes. My potatoes are ready to come out of the oven, and I think they are ready to set go, so I want you to stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I see how I will be seasoning them up. All right, everybody, supper is about ready. Now, I'm saving this plate uh, for, like, the kids because I'm not going to put any uh, spices uh, on them. I'll just put, just leaving that like it is. But right here, I'm going to put some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some paprika. I went ahead and waited to the end. That way the spices wouldn't burn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stir that around. Everything's just about ready, so I want you to stay tuned for the final presentation. All right, here we are. Take a look at this barbecue chicken sandwich. This is my plate. Uh, I chose the seasoned fries because I love them a whole lot better than what I do plain. And you can allow two uh, pieces of uh, the chicken tender loin uh, per sandwich. And uh, that will make a good sandwich uh, any day of the week, especially lunchtime. And everybody's going to fix their own sandwich, uh, whether it be barbecue chicken sandwich or sloppy joes. So, I'm going to say stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for uh, your subscriptions. Uh, continue subscribing. Comments are welcome. Have a blessed Sunday afternoon.